What's up guys, it's d -Rec. In this video, you're going to learn four of the best tips and drills you can practice to compete in Fortnite's Winter Royale and one ridiculously broken glitch with RPGs and quad launchers. We'll cover some aggressive attacks, pro build strats, and how to turtle so you can survive endgame scenarios. If you enjoy these tips, make sure you subscribe for more pro tips and gameplay. First up is the Tfue Classic. The Tfue Classic is an essential part of every good player's arsenal. Basically, whenever you have high ground over an opponent, you want to damage them without giving up your better positioning. So what you'll do is jump, shotgun your opponent, and place a floor beneath you to land on and for protection. If you do this quick enough, you won't take any damage from your enemy and you'll still be able to hold height. You can also do this from low ground as well. Players tend to be more aggressive from high ground because they feel more confident, like they have better positioning, and oftentimes they'll peek their head a little too much. You can pop them for a quick dose of shotgun, then place the floor right above you for protection. For number two, you're going to work on a quick floor edit followed by a shotgun shot. Whenever you're holding high ground, a lot of enemies try to retake high ground with a scissor ramp. All you need to do is floor off your enemy as they push up on you. They're going to stop in their tracks, reset, wonder what happened, and then try to build up another way almost immediately. So as soon as you floor them off, you can usually edit through immediately and shotgun them before they have a chance to react. Easy kills. Number three is going to be a simple cone edit through to protect yourself from shots and prevent other players from coning you off when you go for high ground. The easiest way another player can keep you from continuing for high ground, whether above or below you, is to place a cone over your head so you stop your momentum. To prevent this, all you need to do is place a cone above your head, right when you think you're going to get coned, and then edit right through it as you run so they can't shoot or cone you off as easily. If you want, you can also build floors above you and edit through those for better protection. Pyramids will break in most situations, but floors will stay built after editing through them. Just be careful not to be too predictable, or good players will shoot you as soon as you edit through. Number four is how to turtle safely, and this is going to be a huge one for endgame scenarios. If you don't know what turtling is, it's basically securing an area with your builds so you can't take damage. You place a floor and cone above you for double protection from above, and you can place a pyramid below for extra protection and better angles shooting other players. The basics of turtling are to put yourself in a box with a floor and a cone above you, then triangle it through your wall and quickly create another box. You can do this as much as you feel the need to, but be careful of overdoing it and wasting all your mats. Sometimes you only need two boxes to turtle safely. The last thing we're going to cover here is abusing RPGs and quad launchers with, I guess you can consider it a glitch, but these things just are pretty broken right now and Epic could consider removing them from the game. But let's say you want to use your RPG on an enemy, and they're just being wicked and annoying, turtling up, playing smart with the turtle strategy, tip number four taught you. Well, instead of spraying the other player or firing rockets from a distance, all you do is hop up and stand on their pyramids. Doesn't matter which side, but stand in the middle of one side, look at the middle of the side to your right, and shoot, and wow, it's like fucking magic, the rockets don't hurt you. And now your enemy's exposed. You can do this to the left side as well, but I found that less consistent to do because you look over your right shoulder, and a lot of times I end up blowing myself up doing this. Rockets are totally broken, so be sure to use this till it gets fixed. If you enjoyed these tips, make sure you subscribe for my upcoming tutorial on a new, easier way to do the double ram floor wall rush. Also be sure to like the video and let me know in the comments what tips are new for you, other things you need help with or tutorials you want to see, and if you think dynamite should stay in the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.